because platinum is much better than than uh, pearl and diamond. I mean that, that that's usually the case with these uh, you know the third in the the third of a series. You know, you know Pokemon Yellow had the uh, ab like um, and let you have the ability to use all the all the stars, which is really nice. I just love that. You know. Playing just like it was in the in the anime. Yeah, even I yeah like uh, the first season of the anime that is. Actually, I think um, throughout the whole series, you know, all those episodes, um, that Ash kept his Pokemon. Like say, I think he used his his. Bulbasaur or Ivysaur a couple times, a squirrel showed up a few times, and random places. I don't know. I haven't really seen it. I've seen like a few episodes of each series, a lot, and most episodes in the first, in the first season, you know, with the, those original places. So Charm is really getting annoying. <laughs> so yeah, that's how that can be pretty useful in competitive battling. Because it can really annoy your foe and they'll be like, Oh, for crying out loud, I'm trying to use wing attack. And Metronome is cool and random. <laughs> Frustration. Whatever. So yeah, I used, uh, I'm using a Scyther because, you know, it's funny. I mean, it does have a flying type attack, which is good against bugs. And, uh, we can see how this thing fares against Bugsy. You know, to get the, uh, or to, I guess, kind of get the Hive Badge, which is shown in the little signpost behind Pikachu. Pika, Pika! <laughs> uh... I tell you, Pikachu is just so overrated, but eh, I guess yeah. It's been, I mean, I guess Nintendo just intended it to be overrated. Maybe it was the first one thought of. I don't really know. I mean, I guess it makes sense because uh, I don't know. It's it's just so adorable, and also. Um, yeah, in Pokemon Yellow, you got to to have your Pikachu follow you around, just like you know you can have your Pokemon follow you in, around in those uh, in Heart Gold. I really like that about Heart Gold, and also the uh, the whole concept of uh, just tapping to play the game and such. So yeah, using a Typhlosion here, a very overrated Pokemon, I tell you. I mean, I, I think it's overrated because of Flame Wheel, personally. That's what I think. Because Flame Wheel, uh, you know, it didn't even K hit one hit KO that lady, but I mean, come on. And in the remakes, it's a, it's a physical attack, so it's even worse. Because fire types are apparently not very uh, attack sort of things. Except for, like, Blaziken, but that's a fighting type. That's That's another story. You know, and I see all these, uh, like, some of the guys in my school play Pokemon, and and they've, they're have they using, uh, I see them with Typhlosions in their team, and, and then, like, two of them have, or, I don't know, like, three of them have for alligators, and one of them has Meganium. But most of them are just Typhlosion. I mean, I guess it makes sense, I mean... It's it's a really cool name, Typhlosion. It's like explosion. It's crazy. Yep. It can't make a move. I think that's what the the announcer said. Oh oh my thunder shock. Oh wow. What will I ever do? Wow. Uh, don't worry, there'll be some failure coming up. 
But if there is failure, I'll just edit out and then edit in a little spot where I actually succeed. So I guess now it's about time to get to the... to Bugsy. And just like, uh... I guess just like the last gym, these, uh, these little trainers have weak Pokemon that haven't evolved, and Bugsy has evolved Pokemon. Well, you know what I mean, good Pokemon. Like, there's Weepin' Bell and Butterfree, and Pupitar, that's the ground type I mentioned a while ago. And that, that's kind of, that's really interesting, you know? You know, kind of, uh, giving it some variety, also with Weepin' Bell. I tried... Uh, by the way, I tried to use Pinsir and my team in Heart Gold. It worked for a while. I mean, it was okay, even though it knew only fighting moves. And then learned X Scissor, and that's good. But I find it to be not so great. I mean, compared to Heracross, yeah. So yeah, Scyther on Scyther action. Wow, Bugsy! Wow. Way to ruin the mood. Gosh. So he's got his Pupitar, which Wing Attack will not do too much to. Too much to. Ah, uh, yes, Pupitar. I, I doubt that any of you probably would uh, ever think of this thing. I mean, seriously. You know, Tyranitar, you, you'd think about, I guess. Larvitar, I guess, because it often shows up in that place. Hang on. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my dad called me. So, yeah, continuing this recording, I guess. Uh, there's an earthquake with Pupitar. Pupitar, uh, ground, rock, ground rock type. But good old Slowking takes it. That's really nice. And a good water gun takes the Pupitar down. I tell you. Uh, this can't be happening, says Bugsy. I don't know. Uh, something tells me that's from some movie or something. Yeah, I guess uh, Scyther's gonna wrap it up with Sloking. Oh well. Yeah, you did a good job, Sloking. I found it to be a pretty nice Pokemon, really. I think, uh, I think, as far as I know, I, uh, I remember Slowbro in this game isn't so great, doesn't have very good moves. So yeah, time for the Scyther vs. Scyther fight, finally. Let's see how it goes. Bugsy's goes first. And is much stronger, I mean, gosh. Sheesh. I mean, look at that. I guess uh, Bugsy likes likes to use his vitamins on the Scyther. So I guess it's time to switch out to Pseudo Wudo. Wow. Finally, uh, it's about time that these gym leaders, uh, or these trainers, I guess, show to fight. This time, I think, uh, actually in the remakes, in fact, pretty much every gym leader poses a, a threat, you know, a danger. I mean, um, as far as I know, I, I don't think Morty, Morty's not, not much, um, more threatening, he's just pretty much the same old Dream Eater, Dream Eater, Hypnosis kind of guy with the curses and whatnot. And also Shadow Ball, which is special. But uh, I think I don't think Chuck is much much more dangerous. I mean, in fact, his his um, his Polyrath uses Focus Punch. I mean, Dynamic Punch would would have been fine. It hits half the time. It's pretty fair, and it it can destroy your opponent just as well as Dy as Focus Punch can. But no, he, he used Focus Punch. I kept, like, um, I don't know, using some attack on him, and, and he just he just dropped, and he fell. It was so pathetic. 
I, w I just wanted to be easy on him. I mean, f seriously. Nansula would have just took those two things out before I can even care about them. Those bug flying types. Yeah, you need to do some research. I keep that pupitar though. That was a good idea. So yeah, now Whit next time is Whitney. Next episode is time. It will be time for Whitney, the normal type person. I'm gonna be uh craziness. See ya next time. And let's play Pokemon Stadium 2. Gym Leader Castle.